Okay, it's Michael Mang. Good morning, everyone. So today's lesson, we'll be talking about um, transmission of impulse as well as characteristics of impulse. Okay, so the first part is, let's start with the first part, which is the mechanism of transmission and spread of impulse along the axon. Okay, we have a diagram here that shows you a neuron. Okay, and you know that the transmission of impulse is along this axon. Okay, so now let's just... Um, Imagine that this axon have patches. Okay, they divide it to many segments or patches. Okay. So first things first, stimulus will cause okay the sodium ion cathode ion channel to open. Okay, at a certain patch of the nerve membrane. Okay, now let's imagine this is the first patch. Okay, in the axon. So there are many sodium ion cathode channel here, okay, and then the presence of stimulus causes this um, sodium ion cathode channel to be open. And what happens after that? They will be in flow or in flux of sodium ion from the extracellular fluid into the exoplasm. Okay, so this will cause depolarization, okay, of the um, axon plasma membrane, and eventually. If the potential difference is more than the threshold level, an action potential will be produced. Okay. Now, what happens when an action potential is already produced on the first page? Okay. So, what happens next is repolarization, repolarization okay, will occur where sodium ion cathode ion channel will close. And then the potassium ion cathode ion channel will open. What happens when the potassium ion cathode ion channel open? There will be outflow of potassium ion from the exoplasm into the extracellular fluids. Okay. Now, what happens to the influx of sodium ion initially in the first page? Okay. The sodium ion that entered the neuron in the first page, okay, will trigger a chain reaction that cause a positive feedback, okay. So, the influx of sodium ion here in the first page will trigger a positive feedback, okay, where the adjacent, this is the adjacent on the second page, okay, where the adjacent page of the sodium ion gated ion channel will open. Okay, to produce second action potential. So we can say that the action potential is self-propagating, meaning to say, right, the sodium ion gated ion channel from the first page that allows when it is open or activated, it allows the influx of sodium ion into the exoplasm, and the accumulation of sodium ion in the first page will trigger. The sodium ion cathode ion channel on the second page to open and to allow the influx or inflow of sodium ion into the second page. Now, when the sodium ion cathode ion channel opens or activated on the second page, the ones on the first page will be inactivated or closed. The sodium ion cathode ion channel will be closed, the ones in the first page. Why? This is to allow the potassium ion cathode ion channel to open okay in the first page to allow the outflow of potassium ion into the extracellular fluids okay so now let me rephrase that while the sodium ion cathode ion channel on the second page open or activated the sodium ion cathode ion channel on the first page will be closed or inactivated and the potassium ion cathode ion channel on the first page will be activated or open okay and the process continues on the third page second page and so on so the conclusion here is that the first page undergoes depolarization then repolarization repolarization all right the presence of sodium ion okay in the first page in the exoplasm of the first page will cause the um, second page to depolarize then repolarize 
you know just in case if you forgot okay when is the um, accent plasma membrane become repolarized or depolarized okay let me recap that for you the um, plasma membrane of the accent is always in a polarized state during its resting state okay that's why the resting potential on the surface of the plasma membrane is negative 70 millivolt now when there is an influx or inflow of sodium ion into the exoplasm okay that particular patch plasma membrane exon plasma membrane on that particular patch becomes depolarized now we're talking about the first patch all right okay and then the same goes for the first patch okay when the sodium ion gathered ion channel already closed the potassium ion gathered ion channel will open and allow the outflow of potassium ion into the extracellular fluid right the opening of this potassium ion gathered ion channel will cause the exon plasma membrane to be repolarized okay now what are the characteristics of nerve impulses okay first nerve impulses can be generated by a suitable stimuli or stimulus and then the stimulus can be in the form of electrical mechanical water potential chemical heat and light okay so these are some of the examples of stimulus that can um, trigger this, the formation of nerve impulse or impulses or spikes then these nerve impulses follow this all or nothing law okay we need to say the stimuli must be strong enough to depolarize the neuron membrane to the threshold level to produce an action potential along the axon there is no action potential if the potential difference is lower than the threshold level right so if we apply this to our daily life okay let's say um chemical for example chemical okay okay one simple chemical is uh, the perfume if the smell is very soft okay so soft you barely notice it why because the stimuli which is the chemical is not strong enough okay to depolarize the neuron membrane to the threshold level which is to produce an action potential Okay, third, there is a refractory period for an impulse. Okay, so a refractory period means a short period where the neuron cannot respond to another stimulus immediately after an action potential is generated. So, meaning to say, you recall the um, <coughs> mechanism transmission of impulse. <coughs> okay, so meaning to say, the first page, okay, after it becomes repolarized after a depolarization you cannot straight away make the um, first patch to depolarize again okay after the first patch become um, repolarized the second patch will be depolarized you cannot um, make in such a way that the first patch depolarize and then the second patch also depolarize at the same time cannot so this refractory period make sure that the first page we re, re, um, depolarize while the second page sorry the first page becomes repolarized while the second page becomes depolarized and so on or maybe on the fourth page becomes repolarized while on the fifth page becomes depolarized right in a wavy uh, sequence manner so this ensures all signals in an axon travel in one direction, which is from the cell body to the axon terminals. Okay. Now number four, axon with bigger diameter will transmit impulse faster. Okay, or increases the rate and speed of conductance. Okay, meaning to say, axon with bigger diameter has um, higher, okay, speed of conductance because there is lower resistance presented by the exoplasm why is that so because the exoplasm has larger space okay to house in or to accommodate or to take in okay the number of sodium ions as well as potassium ions so the flow of sodium ions and potassium ion in and out of the neuron membrane is faster 
Myelin sheet in myelinated axon okay, transmits impulse faster than the unmyelinated axon. This is because the myelinated sheet acts as an electrical insulator where the sodium ion has to travel to the nodes of Renville to cause depolarization and repolarization via saltatory conduction. Okay, just imagine the um we talk um the patch, right? Let's say on the first patch, the patch is being um uh non-myelinated accent. The second patch has myelinated accent, while the third patch again non-myelinated accent. So instead of we um having one patch to another being depolarized and repolarized, okay, the impulse the generation of action potential or impulse will jump or skip a patch. Skip a patch. Okay, we'll put the explain that in the diagram uh, after this slide. See. Okay, this, the sixth uh, characteristic is body temperature. Okay, where higher, okay, a body with higher temperature has faster conductance. Okay, so we need to say in um, accent that is in a body with high temperature can conduct faster impulse okay or the faster the conductance this explains why homeothermic animals warm-blooded animals okay have faster responses than the poikilothermic animals the cold-blooded and we can conclude that the rate of transmission is faster in mammals than in invertebrates okay okay now this diagram here to show you the difference okay the speed of conductance in a myelinated accent and non-myelinated accent okay can you can you imagine this okay the depolarization and repolarization on the patch of the accent okay it occurs on every patches step by step one patches by another patches adjacent patches okay while the ones that has myelinated accent okay you see this is the first page and the second page will be here but the third page is here so the depolarization occurs on the first page and it continues or self propagates on the third page from third page it goes to the fifth page fifth to the seventh skip the second fourth and sixth page you can see how fast the impulse travels from one nodes of Renvier to the other nodes of Renvier okay and these modes of transmission of impulse okay is called the salutary conduction and the ones the accent without the uh, myelin sheet or accent with the unmyelinated accent okay the conduction of impulse here is called continuous conduction okay there's a video here okay have a look at it or oh, before that credit to the owner of this uh, video right not sure where I got it from, forgot already. Okay. The improved efficiency is due to the fact that the insulation provided by certain cells, called Schwann cells, which have wrapped themselves around each axon effectively, limits the movement of ions to short segments between these cells, rather than allowing this ion exchange to take place along the entire length of the nerve fiber. Loss of the myelin sheath can cause serious impairment of function of the nerves involved. Oh, okay. The improved efficiency is due. All right, so that's about it. Okay, thank you for watching and see you in the next class. Bye.